Now before I show you how to make an additional folder available offline, first of all, what does it mean to be offline? Well, if your company or organization is set up and connected to a Microsoft Exchange server, that means that your computer is viewing the corporate's computer or your account on that corporate computer. So anytime you look in your mail folder, your appointments in the calendar folder here like golfing, you're actually looking at your account on the corporate computer and your computer is just a window to that account. So if the corporate computer's down, or what's referred to as the Microsoft Exchange server, then I won't be able to see any of my messages or my calendar appointments or contacts, be able to make calls and so on because that connection's been broken, that window I can't see into the, my account on the corporate computer. However, what you can do is you can initially set this up to copy everything that's on that corporate computer to your local computer. So during those downtimes, if the corporate has an update or the Microsoft Exchange server has failed, then you can still work with what you have on your computer. To set this up, you'll come up here and click on File and go down to Work Offline. And then once you click on it, it should prompt you to say, yes, go ahead and copy everything off the Exchange server onto your local computer. There's one way to find out. Otherwise, when you click on File to Work Offline, or you come down here and click on the Exchange server drop-down arrow, to work offline. If it just disconnects and you're not sure if it's saving this locally on your computer, well, there's the most obvious that when I'm disconnected, if I can still see my email messages, then yes, it does have a copy stored on my computer. Even my calendar appointments and my contacts and so on. Or another place you can check to see if you have an offline file that stores a copy of everything that's on the corporate computer. Come up here and click on Tools. Go down to Account Settings. Click on the Data Files tab. And there it is. Anytime you see a file here that has a .ost extension, that OST means it's an offline file. And if you want to learn more about extensions, then you want to watch my Windows Vista training videos on that. Otherwise, go ahead and select it, click Open, and you can view those files. And you can see I've got one right here, .ost, another .ost. And again, you won't see these on your computers because by default, Windows Vista, Windows XP, they don't like to show you your extensions because if you change these extensions from a .ost to a .pptx for PowerPoint or .xzy, whatever, it means that this file no longer knows what program is supposed to open it up. And if you try to open it up, it'll say, tell me, who should open me up? Should I be viewed in Outlook? Should I be viewed in Word, Excel, and so on? Again, everything in Windows Vista. Notice also on the icon, the blue arrow that's pointing in opposite directions, that also indicates it's an offline file. So I've got one, two, three of them. I've been messing around here. You should only have one, and that's it right there. I'm going to go ahead and close out. So again, that means that everything that's on the corporate computer or the Microsoft Exchange server is now copied onto my computer. Now, of course, if there's anybody that sends me an email, it goes to the corporate computer first and it sits on my account there until I reconnect to it by clicking on the drop down arrow and uncheck work offline. Give it a second or two while it's trying to connect. And once it connects, if there's any emails in my account on the Microsoft Exchange server, it'll send me a copy down here that will store on my computer. So making folders available offline means that by default, you don't know this, but most of the more popular folders like your mail, calendar, appointments, and contacts automatically store a copy of what's on the corporate computer or the Microsoft Exchange server onto your computer. Again, so when you're disconnected, you can still work. There are some folders that aren't, and so that's the purpose of this training video. To find out what folders aren't, come up here on the standard toolbar and click on the drop-down arrow to the right of Send and Receive, and then come down here to Send Receive Settings, and then click on Define Send Receive Groups. By default, you should just have one group. You can create additional groups, but let's just work with the one here. And it says you can send and receive when you're online and offline. Let's go ahead and edit that because what we're going to do here is up at the top, if you don't have it checked, go ahead and check include the selected account in this group. What account are you going to include? Well, over to the left-hand side, you have a Microsoft Exchange Server account. When you check it, watch what happens when I uncheck it. See that little icon, how it goes from arrows to a red X? When I check it again, it's got these arrows. That's the synchronization arrows. It means that when you're disconnected from your corporate computer, the Microsoft Exchange server, let's say for 10 months, to exaggerate, 10 months, you're going to get a lot of emails sitting there, right? And while you're gone for 10 months, you may be working on your computer, and you've got additional contacts, additional appointments you created. Once you sync up or connect, anything that's different 
is going to be copied over either onto the corporate computer, the Microsoft Exchange server, or copied from there onto your computer. I mean, you would want a copy of the email messages that you have been getting onto your computer, and also the Exchange server wants a copy of all your contacts um, copied onto the server itself. That's what it means to sync up, so there's no differences between your local computer and all your items here, and the Exchange server or the corporate computer and all the items stored there. And then down below you can see that by default these are the, the folders that will be synced up or that will store a local copy on my computer. Again, the more popular ones by default you'll see will be the inbox, outbox, deleted items, sent items, calendar contacts, and task folders. The thing that isn't is the notes folder. So if I check that and say, okay, from here on out, any notes that I create while I'm connected to the Exchange server, I want a local copy on my computer as well. Go ahead and select that, and that's how you make additional folders offline. Because again, the notes is a folder where within that folder you can create a bunch of little sticky notes or little files. You see, it's really simple. It's just a matter of understanding what the heck offline means. And that's what it means if you're set up and connected to an Exchange server. Only so many folders are going to be copied onto your local computer. So when you're disconnected, you can still work on them. Now, I already showed you how to disconnect from the uh, corporate Microsoft Exchange server and how to reconnect. Just click on the drop-down arrow here. If you want, you can have it prompt you every time you log in to your Microsoft Outlook program if you want to work offline and not be connected. Sometimes you don't want to work online because the slow or latency between your computer and trying to connect to the Internet and hitting the corporate computer so there may be times where once a day you just want to go ahead and sync up and you know receive all your emails and be able to copy back and forth those items so they match on your local computer and the corporate computer. In any case, if you want to be able to have that option every time you log into your Outlook program, come up here and click on Account Properties. Then on the General tab down below, you can select Manually Control the Connection State. So when I click Apply and then click OK, or you can just click OK and click OK again, close out, Next time when I open up Outlook, it's going to say, do you want to be connected to the corporate computer or do you want to be disconnected or working offline? So you don't have to be constantly slowing down your computer with sending and receiving and updating and, and so on. So let's see what it looks like. I'm going to go ahead and close out of Outlook here and then open it back up. There's the icon there in the taskbar. I'm going to choose my Microsoft Exchange account, which means I'm connected to the corporate computer versus my local computer, which is this one right here. Again, yours may be different, but the point being is when you open up Outlook again, it's going to prompt you. You can connect to the Microsoft Exchange server and work that way, and maybe it'll slow your task down as you're working in Outlook, or just work offline, not be connected to the corporate computer, make all your changes, do whatever you want, and then when you're ready to sync up, in other words, have any changes made on your local computer, be synced up and copied to the corporate, and the corporate, any email messages or tasks or appointments that people have created and invited you and so on, will copy onto your calendar then. Either come over here and click on the drop-down arrow from offline and uncheck it to work back online, or you can leave it offline and just do a quick check and still work offline. To do your quick check, come up here on the standard toolbar and click on the send and receive drop-down arrow. And do you see where it says this folder, Microsoft Exchange? That's the folder that when we click on it, is going to try to connect to the Exchange server, and of course I'll have to type in my password to connect to the corporate computer and hit enter, and it's going to do one-time update or check. And you see it's processing, it's syncing up. It's saying, okay, this is what Kurt has different on his computer, this is what we have different on the corporate computer. Let's copy him back and forth until we're equal and we have the same information. And then I'm still offline. So then I can go back to work and not have to be well, if it does slow you down, you know, work offline and then do all your work offline and then every now and then, you know, just click on the drop down arrow and send and receive with that group. If that's the only group that you have, then you can just click send and receive right there. And it's checking here, Microsoft Exchange. And then once it's done checking, of course, it'll go from connected to offline. And there we go, offline again. Now really quickly, I want to go back and turn this back to always being connected. And there's two things I have to do to take it from this state to back to every time I log into Outlook, always connect and stay connected. Click on the drop down arrow here for send and receive. Go down to send receive settings and we're going back to the define the send receive groups. Now this account right here when we clicked edit had all the check boxes that we wanted to sync up to. I can uncheck some of these and click cancel and create a new offline group and in that offline group I can again you'll see the same boxes here I can check what boxes I would like to update or sync to 
So maybe you have 20 different groups here, one for your inbox, one for your calendar items, one for your contacts. So what happens is when you click on the drop down arrow here, you'll have your default folder, then you'll have one for your contacts, whatever name you gave it, your task, your appointments, or your calendar, and you can just select that group to update. I just want to update my calendar appointments. And the reason why you might want to do that is because if you're a very busy person and this is just taking you all day to sync up because everybody's sending you all their appointments, schedule meetings, your contacts and so on, then just do it one folder at a time and create additional groups here. Again, send and receive to send receive settings to define the send receive group. Instead of creating additional groups, I'll just select the one, the default, click edit, and then I'll click on account properties because I want to automatically to detect the connection state. I don't want to manually control my connection. I want it to automatically detect it. Now notice it's just going to detect it. It's not going to actually turn it on for me. So if it's off, it's always going to be off. If it's on, it's always going to be on. So let's click OK, click OK, and close out. It doesn't automatically turn it on. I have to not only set the state to automatically detect, but also uncheck the work offline so I'm constantly connected. So next time when you close out and you log back into Outlook, again to my hosted exchange server and click OK. Of course type in my password and hit enter. It's trying to connect to the exchange server and now it's connected. Thanks for watching. Hey, as a quick reminder, if you like my video, please give it a thumbs up. You can also click on me and subscribe to my channel, get notified of the latest videos, and for only $2 a month you can have access to all my Microsoft Office training videos.